Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. Peg O'Connell, what do you wish you had said on last week's show, but you didn't? Well, you know, Tom, I think we were talking about the health of people in rural areas and how it's not as good and some of the things that influence that. Over the last several months, I've been part of a group going around, uh, uh, not Patrick's group, but some of Patrick's folks have been involved in it, with Care for Carolina going out to um, counties to find out what they're thinking about the lack of health insurance for working people out there. And one of the, the big issues we're hearing about is how uh, the opioid ed epidemic is impacting their communities across the scale. It's not just that it's taxing their health care system, but it's taxing the people who can find jobs. It's ta taxing the ability of employers to find jobs. And so I think what I would like to have had a mo little more time to talk about is, you know, people who are struggling with substance abuse and opioid addiction, 90% of those people who come into the emergency rooms, largely that's how they're found or um, how they're discovered, and um, are uninsured. So even if you get them, if you save them from an overdose or if they're just desperate for treatment, they have no means to afford the continued next treatment the continued treatment. So I think when we look at trying to deal with our opioid epidemic in North Carolina, I think we also need to look at uh, the lack of insurance for the people who are really struggling to find uh, some affordable options so that then they can get the treatment they need. Interesting. Well, thanks for watching the After Spend. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspend.com.